Chad Pillbeam is back in the house. And you know, Chad, I have to say, I am shocked that our producers actually invited you back, considering uh, what happened last time. Statue of Limitations ran out uh, on that. Uh, we had a little accident last time um, uh, with uh, the weatherman. Um, we had a little accident? Okay, I, right. No, 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 no. It didn't air live on the show. It happened after the show. So since you guys missed it, let's roll the clip. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna see if I can pull this off. But you're getting, aren't you getting a beer everywhere? No, it shouldn't. It should work just fine. Yeah, it famous last words. Yeah, word here. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. What? You don't have to be on TV or anything, right? Thankfully, no. Seriously? <laughs> but I did huh. just get this. And that's. Famous yeah, last words. No, it should oh, work just fine. Hold my beer and watch this. Exactly. Yeah. By the way, a fine segment uh, on What's on Tap Radio, which you can listen to. So, um, so uh, <laughs> I, and here I thought I was just going to come and say, uh, on behalf of James Simpson, Kimberly, and everybody at What's on Tap Radio, happy American Craft Beer Week, everybody. But no, we got, yeah, we got to hey, go back into the... Everybody's fair game on this show. We go back into the archives and pull out my gaffes and goofs. How about on behalf of uh, Justin Stapleton's dry clean? Cleaning bill. Justin's just uh, waiting in the wings here. No, no, uh, get no, no. This, he has a plastic get bag on. Oh he he he's got a plastic bag on. So I'm he's sorry, just Stage. Prepare. All right, listen. All right. <laughs> anyway, yes. Last time I was on, there was a chance of showers. I just didn't know that it was going to be beer. <laughs> and so uh, American Craft Beer Week is upon us. You can have anything on the table, sir. Okay. I didn't get a chance to pay for his dry cleaning, but thanks for having me oh, back. Oh, he's got the bill. Don't worry oh, about yeah, it. I know. We'll oh. give it to you. Oh. Is it true there are really 7,000 craft breweries in the United States? That number seems a bit inflated. I know, it's closer actually to uh, 7,700. No. Yes, there's a new brewery opening every 10 and a half hours. So, uh, yeah, if, in case you're running, you're, you're out there looking for that new beer, that something new, um, good chance you'll find it. Um, and here in the greater Houston area, we're somewhere around, if you, if you get outside of Houston proper, greater Houston area, we're looking at somewhere around 70 different breweries. That's, that's unbelievable. Huge. Because back in the day, it used to just be like, you know, you'd grab a bud or a whatever. Well, that was my question is, and this is probably going to be a silly question, so there I'm going to apologize no silly off the Please. top. What qualifies a craft beer? Okay, so uh, the, the Brewers Association, by the way, kudos to everybody out there in Boulder who's doing a great job. Um, they define it as a small, independently owned craft brewery who focuses on traditional brewing practices and ingredients. Well, the, the definition has been redefined a couple different ways, but what we look at, if you look at these beers over here on my right, uh, they're... Uh, you can see some of the, the pioneers that really got this thing started. And that th those breweries were making traditional craft beer, small batches using traditional ingredients based on the German purity law uh, called the Reinheitsgebot, the purity law of 1516, which says we're only going to use all natural ingredients, barley, hops, yeast, and water, nothing else. The well, Reinheitsgebot? Yes, the Reinheitsgebot. Courtney, wasn't that your nickname in high school? Still is. Actually. That's, it's pretty. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice. Uh, so, Common uh, spelling. That's right. Hashtag drink good beer. Okay. And uh, <laughs> since then, the breweries have just gone crazy. It's, it's gone from barrel aging to adding exotic ingredients to hazy. And uh, we're featuring right here. Just we're going to, you guys ready for another beer? Because Sure. I'm about out here. This yeah. Buffalo Bayou Great it's White very that we started nice. the show with is so, so good. It's very well, nice. I want to crack open this one right here. This right here is uh, Wake and Bake, and this is their cream ale with, with uh, coffee. coffee. Wait, yes. before you crack it open, okay. um, we, oh. we want to be sure oh, you have or your special oh. helper. <laughs> Okay. Here, come a little closer. Come Everybody got their closer. safety. It's like Bill, science on, guy. Safety glasses safety on. Guys. Here we go. Did All right, here we go. Hit first. Hey, oh, hey. Whoa. All right. We're safe. Well done. Whew, well done. Good. In the clear. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's funny. All right, so okay. here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this for Stables, myself. Stapleton, how much was that dry cleaning oh, bill, by the way? Uh, Your glass. Oh, okay. So hang on. I'll just okay. list it from here. Okay, there I'm you go. I'm that kind of girl. Oh, okay. Oh, straight from the can. Who? Oh, wow. It? it smells like coffee. It does smell like coffee. You can smell it from here. Wow. That's right. You want to smell that before it I take is. a sip? It's fantastic. So, wow. Yeah. Right? How Drink dark that, How dark is that beer? Well, you see it right here. There it is in the glass. So, a little misleading. So, a lot of people, they'll say, oh, well, it's got coffee. It must be like Guinness. No way. Uh, our friends over at Buffalo Bayou, they, uh, they no. said, you can actually take coffee and put it in a traditional cream ale, which is an American-style craft beer. So, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy wow. my... Uh, Oh. My my coffee. This is this is, yeah. We drink coffee in the afternoon. Just so happens at happy hour, we're getting this. Yeah. You and like Justin, that? I know you still have to do the weather, so we can't offer say, you any. Bosses are watching. Bosses yeah. are watching. Did oh, you? oh, I see. I do like it. Yes. Oh, you don't like no, it. No, I don't like that one. I'm sorry. Well, I, I have something else for you okay. to try. Then see, this is the beauty of American Craft Beer Week. You get out there, you try all these different beers, you, and 
Buffalo Bayou makes Dream Sickle. Now, this takes you back to when you were a kid and you weren't drinking beer, but you okay. were chasing the ice cream truck. And this right here, go ahead, I want you to taste that. Go ahead and. And the Dream Sickle, like that was the old orange popsicle with the cream in the middle, right? Yeah. Now, now you're, now, now you're oh, picking I up. Loved, I love right the Dream Sickle. Yes, go ahead, get in there, get in there. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Wow. You, you can that hear. That tastes like a dreamsicle. You, you hear that little jingle on the truck going down the street, and you're like, I, I got to go to the brewery. The ice cream man. I mean, that is so strange. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. American craft beer <laughs> movement. And that's the thing, is, is it's evolved it's like the so jelly much. Belly. Yeah. That it doesn't, it, it's no longer just fitting into little different style categories. It's, it's being innovative and creative. That's and, crazy. And these independently owned craft breweries are just coming up with all kinds of new ideas, new styles. Uh, in fact, um, I don't know, were you ever a brownie or a Girl Scout? No. You weren't. I was not. Are you asking me or Courtney? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> There was silence. I was. I know. I'm yeah. sorry. I was. Kid I was waiting for your answer too. Yes. <laughs> well, not sure where that question was. The was answer is no. The for answer both is of us. no. But I want to go ahead and this, just to show you how much fun you can have with the uh, the American craft beer movement is you can actually go and throw in thin mint cookies into a beer and this is thin mint stout from Buffalo Bayou. Oh, now I've eaten. I've eaten cartons of thin. Mint. I yes. mean, now they've gone too far. Thin mint stout. Abs no. Oh, the, really? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is not too far. Actually, they are now making Fruity Pebble beer. They are making uh, beer with Lucky Charms. Yep. That's and the if, strangest thing I've ever heard. They are, can, can I try this already? Absolutely. Yeah, it? you're just going to go straight yeah. out of the bottle, aren't yeah. you? I'm, just, I'm that kind of girl. The rules just went right out the window. The yes, sir. By the way, for those of you keeping score at home, okay, oh. what we want to do is we want to pour this into a glass, <laughs> and we want to go ahead and let it open up a little bit. Now, I'm not the biggest Thin Mint guy it's myself, very but dark beer. I'm also yeah. celebrating American Craft Beer Week, so why not go ahead? And, and that's another thing you should do during American Craft Beer Week. Branch out, try different beers. Uh, the Brewers Association in Colorado, they'll tell you seek the seal and if you're wondering what that seal looks like well there it is right there the little independent craft seal okay. right there on Beautiful. the side of the can you can see it it's a little tiny chat we're out of time yeah. oh no yeah. we're out of time all right we're gonna have to crack you're it wrapped. up there it justin is. thanks for coming by too uh stay, steer clear of that guy you'll have to take your hey, seat back look at this. far i'm dry I, I, and he wore a white shirt this is fantastic <laughs> more brilliant info about what's on tap radio you can visit our website houstonlife.tv cheers guys cheers, cheers.